Let's run the PLS multigroup analysis, the PLS MGA, in Smart PLS. For this purpose, we use the corporate reputation model example. We focus on customer loyalty on the right hand side, which is explained by competence, customer satisfaction, and likability. For these relationships, we would like to figure out if there are significant differences for the group specific model estimations. To start with, we need to define the groups of data. Therefore, we go to the Project Explorer. Here we see our corporate reputation example. In this example, we have the full set of data. We double click on this data set and enter the data view. In the data view, we have the option to generate data groups. There is an extra menu option and we click on this menu option and the new dialog opens. In this dialog we can select the grouping variable. We click on the combo box and find all indicators in the data set in alphabetical order. When we scroll down to the end we find one variable called service type. This variable has two unique values and we select this variable as a grouping variable. In this dialog we also have the option to define a minimum number of observations per group. So in this case we say well if there are less than 10 observations per group we would not generate an extra group. However in this example we get a total of two groups as expected so that means that each group of data has more than 10 observations. We finish the data group generation by pressing OK. After generating the data groups, a new folder appears in the data view. This is called data groups. We find two groups of data, the first service type and the second service type. And we find the number of observations per group of data. On the right hand side we have some options like deleting groups of data or editing them. So if you would like to rename the data groups you click on edit and then you can define a new name for this group of data. However we would not like to change anything in this example and continue by closing the data view. Let's do a quick inspection if the results for the group specific model estimations differ. For this purpose we run the PLS algorithm. Go to the menu and press on the PLS algorithm button. The PLS algorithm dialog opens and gives you several options to select from. We use the default settings. However, a new folder appears, data groups. We click on this folder and we see that the data groups that we defined appear in this folder. We would like to select the data groups to do the group specific PLS path model estimations. Then we press on the start calculation button and run the analysis. After the computations finished the default report opens. However we are not interested in looking at the default report and therefore we close it. We now see the PLS modeling window and the PLS estimations for the complete set of data. We now can switch in the left lower corner between the different groups of data and the results representation in the PLS modeling window. So when we go to data group complete and click on the right hand arrow, we switch to group service type 1 and see the respective results in the modeling window. If we click on that arrow again, we see the results for service type 2. To better see the group specific PLS path model estimations, we can highlight paths. If you click on the right hand button next to highlight paths, the use relative values option applies. If you click on that arrow again, the use absolute values option applies. We select the use absolute values option. In the PLS path modeling window, we see that stronger path relationships have thicker lines 
and smaller path coefficients have thinner lines. We can use this representation to compare the results for group 1 and group 2. We now clearly see that the group-specific PLS path coefficients differ, for example, for the competence to customer satisfaction relationship, for the relationships um, likability to customer satisfaction, likability to customer loyalty, and customer satisfaction to customer loyalty. So there are differences in the group-specific PLS path model estimations. Now we would like to figure out if these differences are significant. For this purpose we run the PLS multigroup analysis, the PLS MGA. So let's start the PLS multigroup analysis. After clicking on this option, the PLS MGA dialog opens where we can make some selections. So we start with the setup of the multigroup analysis. For group A we select service type 1 which is group 1 and for group B we select service type 2. Thereby we specify the two groups which we would like to compare. For the PLS algorithm in the second folder we keep the default settings. In the third folder, the bootstrapping settings, we select 5000 samples, parallel processing, no sign changes. We take a look at the complete bootstrapping results and we select the percentile bootstrap method. Finally, we choose the two-tailed test type. When looking at the missing data, we keep the default setting which is mean value replacement for our missing data. Weighted data are not relevant in this example since we don't use the weighted PLS method. So after making these choices, we can start the PLS MGA computations by pressing the Start Calculation button. These computations take a while. After they finished, the full report automatically opens. So in the after calculation options we select open full report. Alternatively you can select leave calculation dialog open or close calculation dialog. After the PLS MGA computations finished the default report opens. In this default report we find different results representations the bootstrapping results, the confidence intervals, the PLS MGA results, parametric test results and the results of the Welsh Setaway test. We are interested in the PLS multigroup analysis results. Therefore we click on the PLS MGA folder. In the first column we see the relationships. To see them a little bit better we make the column wider. Just double click on the bar or move it from the left to the right. For instance, we see the customer satisfaction to customer loyalty relationship now. In the second column, we obtain the absolute differences of the group-specific PLS path model estimations. So the difference between group 1 and group 2 is 0 0.159 for the customer satisfaction to customer loyalty relationship. In the right hand column we get the PLS MGA probabilities. Values of 0.05 and smaller indicate significant differences and values of 0.95 and higher indicate significant differences of the group specific PLS path model estimations. In this PLS MGA application we find three differences of the group-specific path coefficients that are significant. This is the competence to customer loyalty relationship, the customer satisfaction to customer loyalty relationship and the likability to customer loyalty relationship.